Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 4 Training Part 40. In this video, we're going to be taking a further look into our fuel injection timing within our Gen 4 programming. Our fuel injection timing is going to be when we want to spray our fuel injectors in relation to our intake and exhaust valve opening and closing. Ideally, we want to spray our fuel when our exhaust valve is going to be closed. If we've installed an aftermarket cam into our engine, we're going to find that we have a strong fuel smell at idle because we're spraying raw fuel out of our exhaust valve we want to time things right within our fuel injection table so that we can move the injection point so when the exhaust valve is closed and reduce the fuel waste and the fuel smell out of our exhaust. So this video we're going to be exploring using an Excel spreadsheet calculator I've created. You can enter in your cam card information, you can enter in your injector pulse width and your engine RPM to give you a corrected amount that you can place into your injection timing tables to get them squared up for the new camshaft that you've installed into your engine and make sure you're spraying your fuel against a closed exhaust valve. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our fuel injection timing in our GM Gen 4 applications. And we had a previous video in our training course on fuel injection timing. I wanna come back into this topic because there's been a lot of questions over the last year since that video has been released and I wanted to simplify things. So I went and created a, an Excel spreadsheet calculator that's gonna be taking into account a lot of variables. Um, it's gonna allow us to essentially visualize what's going on with our injection timing, and then it's gonna allow us to just do copy and paste back into our file once we've entered in our cam card information and uh, what the uh, injector pulse width is going to be, which is gonna be based on the injector size that we're working with, that can affect when we wanna spray the injector. So different size fuel injectors can have an altercation in the actual injection timing where we want to spray it at so we're going to learn how to work with that here in just a little bit but before we go in and start to jump into our excel spreadsheet calculator i want to move into our file here um, i'm working with an e40 file it doesn't really matter which file you're looking at in a gm gen 4 family they're all going to be pretty much the same thing i want to go in and just look at the key tables that we have to work with and program just so we understand it and that when we move into the excel spreadsheet calculator everything's going to make a bit more sense so let's jump into engine here quick and we're going to go into fuel and then under general and then here under injector control now if we move straight down here we're going to find we have our three tables and the injection timing so we have our boundary table our normal ect table and our normal rpm table now we're going to find the end of injection or the injection timing event is going to be timed based on these three tables so the equation to figure this out is going to be the boundary minus our normal ect minus our normal rpm will give us our end of injection point or where we want to actually have our fuel injector start to spray at. So what we're going to find if we jump into the boundaries, we typically don't alter the boundary table. We'll find that this particular boundary table has all the same values depending if you're looking at an E38 or an E67 PCM, whether it's going to be for a truck or a CTSV or a Camaro or a Corvette, you may find that your boundary table here it might vary a little bit, but for the most part, they're going to be pretty consistent across the RPM span. So again, it just depends on what kind of engine and, uh, and, and, and the application and the operating system we're working with in our Gen 4 ECU. We'll find in our normal ECT that it does go here and changes our reference based on coolant temperature. So we can see at the colder temperatures, completely different reference point versus the warmer temperatures here in coolant temp. And then finally, normal RPM here, it corrects our end of injection target based on our engine speed. So we'll find that we have Boundary minus ECT minus normal RPM will give us the determination of where that end of injection point is going to be or the start of injection in, in, in this reference that we already talked about in that previous video. So we know our key tables we have to play with. And in fact, it's really going to be our normal ECT and our normal RPM that we're going to be potentially modifying. But it's sometimes tough to visualize which table to go after to get the results that we're after based on the camshaft profile. That's where this Excel spreadsheet is going to come into play here. It's going to make our lives much, much simpler. So if we go in here, I have my Excel spreadsheet calculator open. You can download this right into the course directory. So um, it's available for any subscribers uh, or course purchasers. And you'll find this is going to make your life tremendously easier dealing with your injection timing. So what we're going to find here on the left side of the calculator, we're going to find that you either have your cam card specs at your 50 lift or at your uh, 0.006 lift. So depending on what your cam card is going to show you, ideally you would like to use your uh, cam card specs based on your 0.006 lift. Um, that's going to be a better reference point for your injection timing when you're programming it 
but you'll find that some cam cards and some cam Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.